Salhin says, a woman whose her husband is a Hanafi and she follows Ahl al-Hadith and her husband wants her uh, son to study Hanafi like him. What would the wife do? It is essential to know that there are pros and cons in every conflict and we have to weigh the pros and cons. If by Hanafi you mean that he's Ash'ari, Maturidi, has a wrong concept of Aqeedah and serious errors in his beliefs of Allah and he wants to teach that to the child, you should oppose this and you should stand firm not allowing this. But if he is a Hanafi in the sense of a school of thought, his Aqeedah is like Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Allah Azza wa Jal is above everything. Allah Azza wa Jal is above his throne. Allah Azza wa Jal does not need his throne. Allah Azza wa Jal is not incubated or uh, um, uh, occupied by any of his creation, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah has all the beautiful attributes that we know of. He believes all of this, but he wants his son to study the Hanafi fiqh, putting the hands be below the navel, not raising the hands, uh, for uh, doing sujood al saho in a specific format, uh, having number of takbir for Eid different than ours, etc. This is a trivial issue. There's no problem in that. Let, let the, the, the child study Hanafi fiqh and you on your uh, own can teach him the essence of Ahlul Hadith, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah and how do we follow the Quran and the authentic Sunnah with the understanding of the three favorite generations. And tell him that there are many uh, schools of thought and they don't necessarily um, uh, follow the, this methodology due to their own preferences. Not because they are wrong or they are this or that, but they didn't have the hadith, etc. You expand his horizons by teaching him bit by bit. But when it comes to aqidah, no, there's no compromise in aqidah. There's no black, uh, uh, there's only black or white. There's no gray area. Aqidah is a clear thing. It has to follow and comply uh, uh, with the aqidah of the Prophet ﷺ and his companions. May Allah be pleased with him. So I hope this answers your question. And any wise woman would use diplomacy, would use her wits to not only solve such a conflict, but rather to draw her husband to the way of the Salaf. Aisha from